Okay, welcome back to the unplanned part four of Ecobee Smart Thermostat Install. Um, uh, thanks to a viewer named Peter Kiley who asked this question on the third part. Um, he says, Ecobee states that the transformer that controls your circulators is not powerful, powerful enough uh, to power smart thermostats. Do you disagree? How have they been holding up? Or how have things been holding up? Uh, so thank you, Peter. That's a great question. And I didn't really have a great answer for that. Um, the the techno or application note rather from Taco, who, who makes this uh, zone controller, um, uh, that I referenced when I was figuring out how to do this install, and it showed how to hook up the common and everything. It is titled something like, you know, how to hook up a smart thermostat to a Taco. Um, and it, uh, you know, it, it shows one, so obviously they have uh, some overhead in there or you know they've, they've planned for some amount of, of power to be available for a smart thermostat now three of them four of them I don't know um, I just kind of assumed that it would be okay didn't really research further run any numbers or anything like that um, and I hooked them up and it's been working fine with three but uh, you know I was worried at that point gee am I like living on the edge here am I maybe I'm uh, kind of overdoing it I better find out so um, I tracked down the uh, the thing on Ecobee's website. Uh, I had a little trouble finding it because I was searching for Taco, and uh, the only thing I could find was this uh, like testimonial from a Taco Bell franchisee about how Ecobee was saving the money. Because um, it turns out that the uh, the actual like tech note is on ecobee.zendesk.com, and I was searching ecobee.com, so I didn't find it initially. But anyway, uh, so somebody asked a question about the SR503, which is like the three zone version of the controller. I have the 504 with four zones. Um, and the answer from Ecobee is that the Taco SR503 has a built-in 24, 24 volt transformer that is only sufficient in rating to supply voltage to the zone control. Battery powered thermostats do not steal power from this control, therefore the one amp rating is sufficient. Um, but with the power requirements of one or more Ecobee thermostats, this transformer will be insufficient in capacity. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so, hmm. Well, clearly that's not completely true because Taco does say that they support th smart thermostats, but three of them, that might be too much. And also the, the Ecobee is probably more power hungry than a lot of, you know, older generation smart thermostats. Um, you know, the ones that are just like simple programmable ones. This has got, uh, you know, a color display, it's got touch sensing, it's got uh, you know, Wi-Fi and, and uh, the Wi-Fi radios, the radios for talking to the, uh, the remote temperature sensors and occupancy sensors and all that, so it could easily be drawing more power than Taco uh, um, is able to supply. So, um, digging a little further, uh, I found the spec for the uh, Ecobee so that says it draws less than three and a half VA, volt amps. Um, so I should explain this a little bit. So, um, watts, which is the common measurement you think of for power is um, watts is the voltage times the amperage. Uh, volt amps is also sort of the voltage times the amperage. Um, the difference is that uh, th they'll be the same if their load is purely resistive. So if you've got, you know, the voltage is, is in a sine wave, then the current, um, you know, the current will be, I guess this is I, I should make this I for current. I equals V over R. So the, the voltage divided by the resistance. So you can see here, as the voltage changes, the current is gonna change proportionally to that. Um, so this will be exactly in sync. The, uh, the current is gonna exactly match this. It may be you know, larger or smaller or whatever, but it's gonna be, uh, this, this sine wave will be in phase with that. Now, as soon as you add reactive components, you know, components that store and release energy, like say a capacitor or an inductor, and we know we have inductors because the relay, relay uh, coils are inductors, then this can get shifted one way or the other. As these get out of phase, then the apparent power is different than the, like the actual power, and um, then the wattage and, the, and watts and VA can be different, and it gets a little bit complicated. Uh, I don't have the equipment to properly measure this for like 24 volts. I have a... Uh, um, uh, a kilowatt meter that I can use for like mains voltage type stuff, but there's no way to plug it into this and I don't think it's going to work with 24 volts and there's no way to wire it in and so I'm just going to ignore all this. Uh, I'm just trying to do back of the envelope calculations, so I'm just going to pretend that 
um, you know, we're just going to think of this as watts, and, and uh, we won't be exact, but it'll be, should be okay, ballpark anyway, because uh, this, this should not be like massively out of phase. So, um, and by the way, the, the, the difference between them is called the power factor. So if you've heard that term, uh, and sometimes you hear about like power factor correction and things like that. So um, anyway, um, the transformer is rated for 15 VA. Um, VA and um, in the taco, and we've got less than three and a half VA for um, for each eco B. I've got three of them in my case, so that's uh, uh, what? 11, wait, 10.5? 10.5. Three times three is nine plus, yeah, 10.5 uh, for three of them. Um, okay, so that's less than this, so it's not like immediately bad, but how much does the board itself draw? That's kind of the big question. So I had to write to Taco for that. Okay, so Taco says, uh, all standard SR controls have the th same transformer 15 VA, which I, I knew from taking apart and just looking at the label on the transformer. Uh, this allows somewhere around 500 milliamps with 100 milliamps needed to operate the board. That gives you about 400 milliamps to run anything else. Um, not sure about the EcoB power consumption, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, okay, so that seems like there's a lot of headroom there, actually. So, uh, eighty percent of that is uh, eighty percent of this fifteen VA. Let's say just based on these um, amperage ratings, eighty percent would be twelve VA. Uh, should be available for use by the uh, uh, by thermostats. So actually, that seems like it should be fine. Uh, we've got a little bit of headroom now. If you've got a three zone controller, or three or less, you're fine. In my case, I've got a four zone controller. But I'm only run, running uh, three thermostats, uh, so that should be fine, assuming that the water heater doesn't draw much, which I happen to know it doesn't. Um, and um, yeah, so that should be fine. If you actually got a four zone controller with four thermostats, then you may be in trouble. Uh, then you're at what? Well, then you're at uh, 14. So, you know, it seems like you're in trouble at this point, although it says less than three and a half. So well, we'll get back to that. So um, three should be fine if you've got the six zone controller. Um, I thought I remember we were, when looking through the taco stuff initially that there were like the six zone ones had two, therm uh, two transformers, like the first three zones and the second three zones had separate things, but that must have been a different model because I went back and looked at the 506 and it's just got one. So yeah, if you've got the six zone model, then yeah, I think you're kind of in trouble there. You're gonna have to have to go with an external transformer either on the uh, um, on the thermostats, or you can kind of rewire the taco to have a, a larger a transformer. There's a way to do that, um, which I had contemplated doing if if this hadn't worked out. But it seems to me um, I'm fine with with three thermostats, uh, and as I said, it has been working fine. So. Um, so the other question then is like, does this really draw three and a half? Um, I suspect that this is a worst case um, number. You know, as I said, the, the Ecobee's got the display on it, color display, which I think might be an OLED display. I'm not sure if it's LCD or OLED, but if it's OLED, then like the amount of it that's on, it's gonna affect the, the current. Um, it's got this, you know, a decent CPU in it, enough to be able to communicate over the internet and all that kind of stuff. It's got Wi-Fi radio in it. It's got this, probably a Zigbee radio, I guess, for talking to the, uh, the remote sensors. I think maybe it has a Bluetooth radio in there as well as part of the pairing process for HomeKit, or I'm not completely sure about that. But it's got potentially a lot of power hungry things in it. But most of the time they wouldn't all be working. In fact, most of the time they would mostly be off. Um, so, you know, this might be like the worst case if all that stuff happens to be on at once. Let's say you're, uh, you know, it's downloading a, an up, a firmware update over the internet. So the CPU is going to be busy, the um, the Wi-Fi is going to be busy, and, and so on. That's probably kind of a more of the worst case. I'm guessing it's a lot less than this in practice. Um, but well, let's try and measure that. We can't really measure the, this. We can only measure the uh, the current with the equipment I have. But uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, so I've got my uh, clamp meter on the. This is the, the common wire. This is it, it, all three of them are joined together, or the three commons from the thermostats are joined together to this one common thing that ties down to the uh, 
transformer common. So I've got the power off, got the uh, clamp meter zeroed out it's on the uh, two amp range. So let's turn things on and see what kind of power draw there is, uh, or current there is. Um, and bearing in mind that this is not going to be counting the, um, this is counting, you know, the power is coming in through the, the 24 volt uh, supply line to the thermostat. Some of it, or most of it, is that's powering the thermostat itself is going back through this uh, common wire. But if it's uh, actually turning on the heat for a zone, then that's going to be energizing the, uh, the relay coil on that zone. And that's going to be going back through the white wire, I guess. Yeah, the white wire. So um, that's not going to be captured in this. It's taking a different return path. But I'm assuming that that's also current that's accounted for in the 100 milliamps that the, uh, they're saying the board itself uses, because it's energizing the, the relays um, uh, on the board. All right, so let's turn it on. Oh, I'm also assuming that the uh, the current draw will be kind of highest when the thing is booting up because it's going to be doing more with the display. The CPU is going to be doing stuff. Um, but we're going to do network access. So um, I expect what's going to happen is this is going to fluctuate around a bit. It'll be high, kind of low, then it'll go high, and then it'll kind of settle back down again. That's my theory. Let's see if it pans out. Okay, power on. Okay, so I saw it go up to like 340 or so, 350 maybe there for a while. Uh, and now, yeah, it is fluctuating. Kind of rising up a little bit. And then these things uh, boot up. And because I just turned the power back on, all three of these are going to be in sync, kind of, you know, booting up at the same time through the same sequence. So they're going to be using, you know, they're kind of their power draws are going to be synchronized here, which is kind of the worst case, but uh, so far we're well under 400 anyway, which we, is our supposed budget. So, uh, I'm going to 300. Put it back down. Let me go check if these are... Uh, um, and these are booted up yet. The, 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 uh, the furnace hasn't come on yet, but they may not have, you know, haven't had it on or off long enough that it would have cooled down enough that maybe it needs to, to run. So let me go uh, check that for a moment. See if they have completely booted up. Okay, so yeah, they've all booted up. Um, you can see the power continues to fluctuate. So I expect this to happen because the, uh, you know, most of the time the CPU and the, and the radios are going to be idle. It's going to be... Um, you know, just off most of the time sleeping and then periodically it'll wake up. It'll use the radios to talk to the remote sensors and, and you know, measure the temperature locally. Um, it'll be uh, maybe communicating with Wi-Fi with the, uh, um, you know, with the service. Um, and then it'll be, the CPU will be busy doing all this, running the TCP stack and all that. Um, and, uh, you know, making decisions about whether to turn the, the, the heat on or off or, or whatever, and then it's going to go back to sleep. So it does seem to be cycling between kind of 150 to 200. Seems mostly about 150, and then it looks like it spikes and then goes back down. It's going to probably spike again soon. Yep. And then it goes back down. And it is a little higher when it's uh, when power's on. Sorry for the noise, but <laughs> kind of unavoidable for this uh, video. Um, yeah, and I guess that makes sense because I think there is actually a relay in the uh, in the thermostat. So there's a relay in the thermostat. Its coil is being gener uh, energized, and, and that's going to draw some, and then that in turn is going to uh, uh, power the you know the, the bigger, more uh, heavy duty coil and these uh, large uh, these large relays here. So. Um, yeah, anyway, I think uh, I feel pretty comfortable with this. I think I'm uh, well within the margin for running three thermostats on this. Not sure about four. I'm not sure I'd recommend that. Um, yeah, you'd probably be under, hmm, you, I mean, you'd be under 400 most of the time, but there would be that big spike on power up and, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, uh, I, but I feel... I feel pretty confident with three, four maybe kind of pushing it. 
Uh, more than that, I think you're definitely uh, pushing it. So if you've got the, the six zone unit, then uh, I think you need to look at a more complicated solution with either uh, replacing the, the transformer on the, the Taco with a bigger one or having local transformers powering the uh, EcoBees. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, thanks again, Peter, for asking that great question. Um, and uh, if you like this video, then please like and comment and subscribe. It helps other people find this video too. Thank you.